Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're going to check out Photor, which is a graphic editor. You can edit photos, you can create graphic designs, and you can create collages. So right now there's a lifetime deal going on. You can grab it for $69 and that's just a one-time payment and you can have it forever. Um, what I love about Photor is that you can have a web editor and you can also install it on Android and iOS. So you can edit right from your phone with this deal. So I'm going to show you what this does. So the welcome screen is going to be this one right here, which gives you three main options, which is edit photo, make a collage and create a design. So I'm going to open edit photo so you check it out. And there's this guy right here that I'm going to edit. And there's a whole bunch of options that this editor has. Now, I know everyone's going to be asking, hey, how does this compare to other editors? How does this compare to this one and blah, blah, blah. None of them are so complete with editing i mean they have cer certain tools i mean you can crop you can change some colors but this one goes much much further with editing so let me show you really quick options that it has so you get an idea of what you can do with it so first thing you got the magic clipper which does it, it's gonna like remove the background if you want and it's pretty easy to do i've seen other apps do it this is one of them that does it also yeah, i love having this option you can grab this with the green and you select red and it's going to say, hey, I want to remove this. All right, so let's grab this. And it's going to automatically try to select what you want to remove. So, hey, there's something missing here. I'll grab that. And see how it's grabbing it? You can see right here, I went too far with the green. I'll just select that and it's going to grab that. And you can just fine tune it, whatever you have to do. If you add red, red right here, so that's in the middle, it's going to select that. And when it's ready, you just click apply. But you have options like brush size, soft edges. So if you want to keep it really, really like, check this out. You want to do like a blemish or do you want to be really harsh on this? You can select that. I like to keep it a little bit soft so we have a good design. Let's click apply. Now this is just one of the main tools that it has, but there's a whole bunch of them. And like I said, you just got to fine tune it to remove all this inside. But next thing we have, obviously, well, there's a crop. Let's just say you got a, a specific size that you want to use. You can do that right there. Do you want to rotate? That's easy. You want a basics. So basics, you got brightness, brightness, contrast, saturation, and sharpness. There's also fine tune. Oh, now something that you're going to love, but we'll get to it in a bit, is the skin fixes. Next thing we have is color. So in color, we got temperature and tint. If you guys want to check that out, if you want it, tint right here. So for example, if you were in a, in a lot of sun, you would go with temperature. And if you want to go a little bit here. So for example, at zero would be the normal image. If I want to do it a little bit more colder, I go a little bit left. I like, uh, I like how this looks better. So that's okay. If you want to add vignette on this, you want to grab dark, darken the edges. Now the image is cut off, so it's not going to look that good. Curves. Now, if you are a fine tuner and you like how to edit with curves, this will help you do that. I'll just reset that. Next thing we have is resize. If you want to resize this also, you can do that. So let's go to effects. So now we got effects. And like I said, there's a whole bunch of tools that Photor has, and that's what makes it really cool. So now we have all these bunch of effects. I am not going to go through all of these because there's a whole bunch of them. But you can just go, you can create your favorites right here. So once you check them out one by one and you like what you like what you see, you select that as a favorite and you have that you a really fast access. So you can just like warm wil warm wilter, Christmas, check this out. So you got like the snow effect, different type of colors, sanity, funky, cool scenes, uh, a whole bunch of them. Beauty. This is something that not all uh, editors have. And this is something that I like because if you're going to edit like a model model or something like that, or you want to just get rid of some some like things that you have on your face, or something, you can do this. So blemish fix, you can see this. So I'm going to zoom into this just to show you what it does. And okay, let me zoom. Oops, sorry. I'm using the two buttons on my trackpad. All right. So let's just grab this right here. And if I use the blemish tool so if I click a lot as many times as I, oh it's grabbing from the background all right you can see the size if I go big it's gonna make it bigger if I go smaller if I go no smoothing all right I want I'm gonna discard the one I did before so I'm going to select the brush size It's too big also too big so this would be good 
and what it does it's going to smooth out the skin let me try to remove it i'm going to cancel it so I'll just take a look at what it's going to do see how it removed it there's also the brush there's brush if it were like a woman i would do like see how i'm clicking a lot of it if i want to do like some blemish on a woman i can do that i can select the color that i want to use i'll cancel that also i can do weight loss what it does it's going to like resize the image it's going to like make it skinner it i i don't think that tool is so good but at least it has it there's a the reshape there's a the clone you see brush size intensity so for example you can clone if let's just say there's a part of your skin that you like and then you have like a, a bad part you can clone the good part from the bad kind of like photoshop so that that's pretty cool to have you got eyeshadow eyeliner mascara eyebrow pencil eye tint eye pop red eye remover uh, lip tint let's just do really quick of that all right select this i think it auto selected so i'm just grabbing the whole thing but if you just grab the the, the lip it's going to show you like that right so you can see intensity i grabbed the whole thing but if you fine tune it that's going to look really good next thing we got is frames frames obviously i mean it's straightforward it's just frames around the image i am not going to go through each one of these there's a whole bunch of them let me go back there's a whole bunch of these that you can choose and you just got to check them out next thing we got is stickers so you got sticker options to put in here just to put a little bit of a better mood in here so there's like the image shapes so you can make some designs on it there's learn photos shape basic shakes basic lines patterns arrows cute halloween face decoration halloween they're loading more gothic autumn and they're just adding more and more and more that you can use so when the uh, holiday is coming they add them next thing we got is text obviously you know what that does I'm not gonna go through that you can change the what do you call it the font if you want you can change font right here change sizes uh bold italic and all that good stuff cloud well cloud is gonna work so for example let's just say you're using this for business's purpose so you would load like all the logos of your business and you can just drag them inside instead of looking on on them for the cloud and a computer somewhere else you have them already stored here and you can use them so anything you want to use frequently you can have them here in the cloud all right so these are all the things you can edit for a photo that's pretty cool right next thing we have is the other tool which is this one right here remember we started we said three tools are the main ones there's a collage so this is a collage and there's some pretty cool ones and there's like the really basic ones so there's like the classic collage which are just you choose how many pictures you want you select them you can drag and drop them as you want there's funky collage with their with their a little bit more fun they don't look like that that normal then we have the art, artistic collage which which looks cool then photo stitching on on this what i like is that you can drag the image inside of the collage and it'll look cool i don't want to go through this because it's pretty straightforward but having the tool and the option there is pretty cool next thing we got is designs well let's just say you're doing social media work for someone or just for you maybe you have a business you don't want to hire someone and you know what you say hey you know what it's, it's a small business i don't want to hire someone to do this i want to do it myself well you got the options here to select the best size for the social media you're going to use it so for example we got social media post and you got this like facebook post instagram pinterest twitter and you can choose the one that fits best for you now if it's like the cover you choose which cover you're going to use it from where where from and let's just say we're going to select this facebook post once we select it we're going to get a whole bunch of options of designs that we can use it's pretty awesome let me show you that really quick so what this does it gives you like a whole bunch of themes instead of thinking for yourself i mean maybe we're not that good at designing but we know what looks good well this helps you out let's just say you have all these designs right here that you can choose from and you can edit to whatever you like let's say hey, you know what i'm going to search for marketing let's see what what's available in marketing so let's search and we have all these designs based on marketing so let's just say hey, you know what this looks good i click on it it loads it up and now i can edit so for example let's just say we got this square right here i'm going to change the color i'm going to change it to yellow click off there's the image you see this image right here i can remove it i can add another image i can search for an image and i can load it right here next thing we have click away we got the right here let's just say sass 
master right you see how easy that is to edit we can change the font type right here we got all these bunch of fonts let's wait for them to load you got all these options you got size you got whoops clicked away from it sorry you got all this font size text alignment bold italic uppercase underline spacing spacing is pretty awesome because sometimes the the, the font that's available it's like two together or you want to space it out a bit better because it looks good you can do that there you can enable background you can clone it you can move it you can lock it if you don't want it to move so for example why would you lock it let's just say you don't want to click on this again and you say hey i want to leave it there you can lock it now you can change for example this square right here you see how it's on the back of these letters well if you select layers you can move it up See how they're disappearing because it's it's going on top of whatever is there. So you can move it back down, 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 down until it goes behind the image and move it back up. Or you can just from one click move it to the top or to the bottom. How cool is that? Or you could just delete it. So you have all these options that you can use. You can also have available stickers, text, background, and cloud. Same as you would, like I said before, you can have your logos pre-loaded there and have them ready to use. Well, guys. These are the main features that Folder has and one of the best things that I like about it is that I have available on my phone that I can download it, I can use it on the app and I can just edit on the fly if I have to. All this is available for one single price. It's at $69. You just pay once, you have it forever. The deal that I'm giving you the link to has the 30 day money back guarantee if you don't like it you can just refund it and nothing happens right so you got 30 whole days to check it out um, i'm not being paid to make this video if you guys like the video if you guys like the information i'm giving you the link that i'm providing is an affiliate link it's not going to cost you one cent more and it's just going to give you a small commission to keep doing these videos for you well guys i got i hope you guys like this video my name is george and this is sas master i'll see you guys later